Hello, everyone. My name is Qiang. I'm from University College London. I'm very happy to present our work, Learning Neural Point Processes with Latent Graphs. This is a joint work with Dr. L. Dupont and Emily Yomos. So in this work, I will, uh, first of all, in introduce the main contributions of our work. We are interested in assign corners even sequences in this work. And we would like to, do, to, to model these sequences with neural point processes. We make three contributions in this paper. First of all, we learn to omit non-contributing event types for the predicting, for the prediction of packet types when we learn neural point processes. Second, we simultaneously consider two tasks. One is learning neural point process, and the other is finding a set of contributing event types. We solve these two tasks at the same time by a uh, bi-level programming technique. Third, we conducted extensive experiments to show that our model is uh, advantageous on synthetic data sets and real world data sets. So in this paper, we are interested in assigned corners event sequences. There are a lot of common examples in our daily life, such as social user activities, financial transactions, and so on. All of these common examples share three characteristics, unequal time intervals, multiple event types, and uh, self-influence and uh, mutual influence. In the figure in this page, I show three synthesis of social user activities. And uh, from the right sub figure, we can see that some event types contribute to the prediction of the other, some not. So um, as we know, a event has a type and time step, and uh, we are interested in the prediction of the types and time steps of next events. So uh, previously, researchers have been trying to use counting process to, uh, to deal with assigned corners event sequences. And uh, based on the counting process, we can derive the intensity according to equation one. So intensity is actually defined as the probability of the occurrence of an event in a very small time window. And uh, Hawke's process can also uh, be used to describe such events. And uh, it defines the um, intensity function according to equation two, where mu is a base value and uh, phi is a kernel function. This figure shows a very a uh, simple, very vanilla form of this um, kernel function phi. And uh, uh, in order to approximate more complex uh, kernel function, people have been trying to use neural networks, such as recurrent neural networks, multi-layer perceptual, and the attention mechanics. So there are some typical works in recent years published in top AI conferences. And the majority of these existing uh, models is that they use all types of historical events to predict the occurrence of a future event. And they did not um, consider that some event not actually contribute to the prediction of that event type. And this will hurt the performance of neural point processes. So in order to address this issue, in this paper, we emphasize that, uh, we emphasize the events between uh, different event types and uh, we factorize the kernel um, into two parts in question three. The first part is, uh, is G. It, indicate, it is a binary value indicating whether the time V events contribute to the predicting of type U events. And uh, based on GUV, we can compute, we, we can build a matrix that is also a graph G. The second part says the uh, kick function, KT. 
it describes the time detaining influence of historical events um, on the occurrence of future events. So in this paper, we aim to find a uh, latent D and at the same time learn the Kirk function. So towards this aim, we propose a probabilistic model to generate the latent graph D. Um, as this um, generator is nested with the Kirk function, it is actually uh, nested to each other. So we use a bilevel programming technique to deal with these two tasks at the same time. This figure is a schematic illustration of our proposed work. The input is, a, is multiple uh, event sequences. And uh, after that, our um, graph generator would generate a bunch of graphs. And these graphs are used to indicate the neutral influence of event types. And based on that, we, um, we, we use bi-level programming to learn the model parameters of the neural point processes. So um, and, uh, the, the, the first part is to generate graphs. So we use, uh, random, we use the theory of random graph to uh, generate graphs. It is an elegant mathematical tool to work with probability distributions or graphs. So uh, we reconstruct edges of latent graph. And uh, here we have a assumption that um, the existence of an edge is merely decided by the pair of involved types. And we compute the probability of an edge um, according to equation four. And uh, after that, we use the probability theta as a parameter of a Bernoulli distribution. And from this distribution, we generate, uh, we could generate an, or sample a graph, uh, sample a binary value, GUV. And uh, um, as a further step, we could generate G from the uh, Bernoulli distribution. And uh, because there is a sampling procedure involved, uh, we, 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 in order to enable gradient gradient based end to end training, we apply the Gumball softmax trick um, to provide a simple and efficient way to draw samples from Bernoulli distributions. Um, so the second step is to modify the uh, neural point processes with the sample graph. We choose to modify the same uh, the SAP model, which is published in ICML in last year. It is one of the state-of-the-art point processes, and uh, it is also quite easy to use the factor GUV as a plug in. And uh, um, so we, do, we, we modify this model as shown in equation seven, where GUV is a binary value, and uh, uh, if GUV is one, then it keeps the previous expression. But if GUV indicates um, the V does not influence the happens of U type event, then GUV should be zero and the, the attention should be zero. Um, and based on F, um, this a bunch of uh, uh, equations describe how sub model computes the intensity function and uh, how the um, objective function is defined. Well, you can find more details about this paper, about the sub model from the previous paper. The third step is to uh, formulate a bi-level uh, programming technique. So as I just said, um, these two uh, tasks are nested to each other because type embeddings are used to generate the graph and uh, compute the influence weights. And uh, um, when, we, when, when the uh, graded distance of NPP change, um, the embedding matrix, it can also change the graph produced by the uh, graph generator. 
and further the landscape of NPP is uh, is changed. So um, it is quite infeasible to uh, directly optimize the uh, parameters of the model. So uh, we compute, we, we formulate a bi-level programming model uh, as shown in the equation 9a and 9b. So these equations are the upper level objective and um, lower level objective respectively. And uh, uh, they are implemented as um, the equation 10a and equation 10b respectively. Um, so um, if you are interested, you could read our paper, but here we just uh, give a general idea of how this uh, bi-level programming works. So in the experiments, we uh, did uh, we compare our model uh, with baselines on four data sets, including one synthetic data set and the three real world data sets. Uh, the real the synthetic data set uh, is generated according to the uh, four kernels whose uh, mathematics are uh, defined in this equation from equation 11 to equation 14. And the real world data sets describe uh, the social media activities, social user activities, uh, how people uh, answer questions in social networks and some clinical visiting activities. The baselines are all neural point processes. And uh, uh, the, 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 there are uh, six baselines under study. Uh, so we conducted experiments uh, mainly on the event prediction. And uh, uh, the experiment shows that our model is very good at uh, event prediction, including time step prediction and the type prediction. And this uh, visualized the Latin graph that we learned uh, from our um, stack overflow data sets. And we can see that most of the uh, event types concentrated to themselves when predicting uh, the future types, with the, when predicting the future events. And some event types could uh, help the prediction of the other type. So as a summary, uh, in this work, we, uh, we aim to learn neural point processes and show contributing types at the same time by uh, bi-level programming technique. And we found that not all event types contribute to the prediction of, one, of the other target type. So um, we would like to uh, acknowledge that this project is funded by the UK EPSRC Fellowship with the, with the title of task-based information retrieval. Um, yeah, that is the uh, presentation. Thank you for your attention.